in ancient Egypt, where the mighty Nile River flowed gently and colossal pyramids reached for the heavens, a little baby girl named Cleopatra entered the world. But she wasn't just any baby. She was a princess, and everyone whispered she would grow up to be Egypt's last pharaoh. Cleopatra spent her childhood in a palace as grand as the stories told about it, with towering columns and halls so vast they seemed to stretch to the horizon. Even as a little girl, Cleopatra was different. While other children played, she was always asking questions and wanting to know more about everything around her. As Cleopatra grew, so did her thirst for knowledge. She studied many things, like how the world worked, how people governed, and even different languages spoken by those far beyond Egypt's borders. She knew that one day she wouldn't just be a queen, but a leader, ruling in a world where men usually held all the power. When Cleopatra became a young woman, her intelligence and charm made her famous. She could talk to people from all over the world, making them listen to her with respect. But being a queen wasn't easy, especially when her father, the king, passed away. According to tradition, she had to share the throne with her younger brother, which caused a lot of problems. Cleopatra wanted to rule alone, and she was ready to fight for it. She came up with a daring plan to meet Julius Caesar, the powerful ruler of Rome, to ask for his help. Sneaking into his palace rolled up in a carpet, she surprised him with her cleverness and beauty. Caesar agreed to help her, and with his support, she took back her throne. But tragedy struck when Caesar was killed. Cleopatra found herself in another dangerous situation, but this time she found an ally in Mark Antony, another important Roman leader. Together, they not only worked together in politics, but also fell deeply in love. Their love story wasn't just romantic, it was also political. They dreamed of creating a powerful empire together, but this made some people very angry especially Octavian, another powerful Roman. This led to a big battle where Cleopatra and Mark Antony lost. Knowing she couldn't win against Octavian, Cleopatra chose to end her own life, according to stories, by letting a poisonous snake bite her. With her death came the end of the Egyptian pharaohs. As Egypt became part of the Roman Empire, Cleopatra's life was filled with courage, intelligence, and determination. She faced challenges head-on and inspired people then and now, showing the strength and wisdom of a true leader.